Hello and welcome to the show, Ordinary Parliament on Television Nigerian. I am your regular host, the Ordinary Senate President, MC Diamond is the name. Of course, it's exciting again to bring to you another fresh episode of the show. And today, in respect to the National Labor Congress of Nigeria bidding for the increase of the minimum wage from 18,000 to 66,500. We are asking our senators on the street what their view is about it. We want to know, is it a welcome development? Will it work? Will it work? I ask again, will it work? Don't go nowhere. After the short break, you will get a response from my senator. We are asking, NLC, National Labor Congress, is making a move for the increment of 66,500 uh, 66, as minimum wage. What do you think about it? Uh, it's a welcome development. Really? Yeah. How do you it think has it's... been long awaited. We have been longing for this. Okay. Because ever since this administration came in, there has been, we are buying fire at one 90 naira. Mm. 90 naira per liter. I think so. Yeah. Now it's 145. So in order for people to meet up with their with their in order for people to meet up with their yes. bills yes. and challenges, NLC they have to increase their, they have to insist on this increment okay, for ma, people to meet up. Ma, I'm scared of something personally. Mm -hmm. You know, market women, they go begin to shout, Madam, they don't pay on a 66,500. Our that, that, Egusi don't turn, don't turn. That, that one is the material. Because people are suffering now. How I wish uh, NLC, uh, NLC will stand on this decision. Because at the end of the day, they might be compromised. Mm. They might be compromised. Well, it's already a bill in the Senate, in the House of Senate. Oh. So obviously, it will be reviewed and reviewed and probably passed to law. I pray. I okay. pray they will pass it into law so okay. that it will cushion this, this hardship that people are passing through. But can you pay your driver? Between me and you, can you pay your driver 66,500? If, if I have the resources, why not? Uh, why not? Ma, they didn't increase other people's own. It's only the minimum for, wage they increase. They are the not taking minimum wage, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, with yeah. you now, with what you're sure. presently earning, can you sure. pay your driver sure. 66,500? I will pay. You pay, ma? I will pay. Ma, make me your driver now. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, sir? I'm good, sir. Uh, uh, you look, you look Leonard. I am a legal practitioner. Is that... I see. <laughs> uh, can, can we meet you, sir? My name is Godwin Haruna. Godwin Haruna. Yes. Interesting. Are you from the north? I'm from not uh, from the middle belt. From not the central. middle. Not central. From the belt to the middle. Yes, not oh. central. If you can okay. put it down. So, so is your belt in the middle? It's my belt is actually holding my thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, sir. Quickly, we are asking. Do you think the move of the NLC in uh, asking for the implementation of 66,500 as a minimum wage, do you think is a welcome development and what do you think generally about it? It is a welcome development. Of course, any initiative to boost the welfare of workers, it's always a welcome development. Just like my colleague rightly pointed out earlier on, the challenge is the implementation. Many states are already complaining that they can't comply with this. How many of our states in Nigeria are actually productive to be able to meet this um, P rise? So, so personally, sir, can you pay your driver or your gate man 66,500? Of course, if the income is commensurate, if I'm seeing the inflow of, of money mm. based on the targeted uh, means of expectation, of course I can pay. Because ordinarily, if by the time you look at the price of things, the price of goods, and the fact that the driver will have a, a family at home to feed also, the cost of accommodation, the cost of um, living, we will see that 66,000 naira as minimum wage is even a poor, it's a very, very poor amount. It's a peanut. It's a peanut. Okay, meanwhile, sir, do you, are you also of the thought that this announcement will cause increase in everything in town? Uh, definitely. The market women will say, oh, they already paid us 65,000, oh, 66,500. Definitely. In any situation where you have pay rise, hmm. all of, not just even... And in Nigeria, all over the world, once there is a pay rise, we expect the commodities. The, we expect the price of goods and, co and services, or even commodities, to go up, to go mm. high. Definitely, it will be. It will go very. It will go high because people selling products, they will also want to take part. We want oh, to take this part. Is from this is six thousand. Six thousand. <laughs> unfortunately, some people may not even be receiving that six thousand. So, so, some people may not be receiving it because Thank you not so everybody much. that is involved. Thank you so much, sir. Um, is um, the right step in the right direction? 
However, my challenge is that the current minimum wage that we have currently, uh, as state, several state governments have not been able to even pay, not to talk of private um, organizations. There are several people who are working in private um, organizations who are pay, who are being paid less than that amount, 18000 as minimum wage. State governments are not paying, they are not complying. So the problem is not even about the law. We have so many laws in Nigeria. What matters is the implementation. Who will follow up for it to be implemented? Eight, uh, six, six, something thousand as minimum wage is good. It's at least it's decent enough. Well, however, the law has been, if the law, of course, I understand that the law is before the National Assembly, they are proposing the law. Mm. When it's now finally approved as law, who is going to follow up the implementation for state government in Nigeria to be able to pay the, the civil servant, for private organizations to pay at least the minimum wage, not below the minimum wage. That is what we are talking about. It's not about the law. So, 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 so what are those things you think you can put in place to be able to achieve this? The lawmakers should put in place pros, how they think that this particular law should be complied with. Each state in Nigeria should have a monitoring, the, the National Assembly should have a group that will follow up the law and see that the law is followed to the latter. The state government should be able to follow the law as it has been signed by the National Assembly. I mean, that has been made and signed by the President. Do you understand? So Thank you so much. Yeah, but you think of, come to think of it, you know, the one that agreed to pay before, how are they paying it? Mm. So I think there's no point. In fact, they, they should just pay. They just pay. They should just pay. They should pay the 16,500. just pay. In fact, even the 18,000, they've not been paying. <laughs> yeah, the 18,000, they will be paying now. So. Okay. Welcome back. This is how much you can take on the show, Ordinary Parliament on Television Nigerian. And my name is the Ordinary Senate President. And uh, I'm sure you enjoyed every bit of the response from my Ordinary Senators. For me, 66,500 or no 66,500, it should be implemented and made a pay salary. So that when I go to call us, make we cover on our events, they cover on our every, every. Thank you very much. I remain your regular host, MC Diamond. See you next episode.